essentially a long spell of peaceful, civilized life, a long spell. You must understand this. The reason why we got this long spell is, in the north we were protected by the Himalayan ranges, in the south by the Indian Ocean. So this is Himalaya, the Indian Ocean that we call today as Indian Ocean, at that time was called as Indu Sagara. This is why we took the identity, he and do, Hindu. Hindu is not a religion, not a belief system, not a God-oriented thing, it is a geographical identity. Unfortunately, it's turned into many things today, that's a different thing. So, we identified with these two geographical features because we realized it's only because of these features that we had an undisturbed civilization growing without any external agencies coming and disturbing us. When there is a long spell for a human being where he doesn't have to fight for his survival on a daily basis, that is when human genius flowers. In many ways, human genius flowered. We produce the greatest mathematicians, greatest astronomers, greatest musicians, all kinds of people. And many technologies which we refuse to use simply because we foresaw if you go this way, what will happen to the world, various things. If you look back on the glorious history of this country, it is simply because, which is true even today, see you can build a great society or a great nation or a great world not by talking about it, only by building individual human beings who are truly great. Without great human beings, where is a great society? Society is just a word, nation is just a word, world is just a word. Individual human beings are the only reality. What kind of people we are, that's the kind of India we have, isn't it? So, the focus right from ancient times in this country was always about individual development. We never see… this is why the Western commentators are missing the entire point. They don't… they think India never had a civilization because we never spoke about it. We refused to speak about society, about nation. We only spoke about individual development because if you generate great individuals, we will naturally have a great society. A great society is a consequence, it is not the cause. The cause is great individuals. So our focus was always on producing great human beings, never on producing a great society or a nation, that happened as a consequence.